CS 107 appealed to me because um, as a designer, I was really interested in creating a product that I could show people. I really fell in love with the concept of computer science and mixing that with design. I had a lot of fun at the end of the semester playing with my apps and going through and looking at what I created. And then my mind just started racing and thinking about what can I do next? And so I signed up for CS110 to find out. I think because I am a visual learner, the App Inventor course gave me a good foundation. It helped me just understand the logic behind what I was doing. It also helped to have a visual framework in my mind. I still even now will refer to App Inventor if I'm having trouble with even um, laying out the framework for a program I'm working on in Python or in Java. App Inventor is still a useful resource uh, that I refer to to just see the general layout. It's a quick prototyping tool I think as well. When I was Programming with Python, which is you know primarily a text-based language, it was easy for me to refer back to the apps that I've already created with App Inventor and see visually how these pieces connect. It also helped me to break down what I was doing into uh, manageable chunks. Because I don't know the syntax of the Java Bridge library yet, I can refer to the block editor and see, all right, I have a get component here or a set text box too, and then I can translate that into the Java Bridge. The App Inventor as a stepping stone to the Java Bridge library, it feels very natural, like an organic step in your uh, process of becoming a better programmer. Python, however, gave me those concepts and those fundamentals in computer science that are going to be useful for me when I want to start building off my Java Bridge. My professor, Alark Joshi, asked me if I was going to minor in CS. And now, here I am, minoring in CS and continuing on. I plan to incorporate design with my CS minor and hopefully find some pathway where I could just flourish in the middle.